What's up, Japanese baseball betters? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and today I have three picks for you in the KBO Korean Baseball Organization. Uh, we were doing okay. We were uh, four and three yesterday, and then oh, I'm sorry, no, we were four. We were six and four yesterday when the video when the night started, and I picked. Uh, I picked SK Kiwoom to go five innings, uh, and, uh, or no, I picked LG, uh, and Kia, sorry, to go, uh, under 5.5 in five innings, and they went into the fifth inning 0-0, zero, zero. so you think, you know, your money is made, but then the Kia twins in the bottom of the fifth inning scored seven runs, they killed my five inning bet, I also had the full game, to go under uh, 11, I think, or 10, and uh, that exploded as well because of that fifth inning. So lost two bets, so we went 0 for 2 yesterday. Our current record right now is 6-6. Six and six. Unfortunately for that one ridiculous inning, uh, we went, uh, our record is now even. So today there's more games in Korean baseball. Uh, they're going to start, most of the games start at 2 p.m. in Asia, which is uh, 10 p.m. on Saturday night uh, in Arizona. So it's Sunday morning here in Asia right now. Uh, so the games will be starting in about five or six hours from now. So you still have time to get your bets in. Let's take a look at the matchups. Uh, we have NC going against Samsung. Uh, Samsung has won two games in a row against NC, and they're going for the series sweep today. As you can see here by the Vegas odds, Samsung is definitely not the better team. Uh, Vegas thinks NC is the better team. NC is the third best team according to the championship uh, possibility ranks. Um, starting pitchers, we got Ku Chang Mu against Choi Che Hung. Um, Chang Mo is, is, is awesome. In 29 innings, he strikes out 9 per game, and he only walks 2 per game. Uh, he's got a under 1 ERA and an under 1 whip, so he's pitching incredibly, and I expect that to continue today. Uh, he's going against Choi Che Hung, and who actually is pitching quite well himself, as you can see by his numbers. Um, he walks a little more people, so maybe this ERA is uh, a little bit lucky perhaps. Um, my model says to play Samsung because I give them a 44% chance to win, which is 2.25 uh, projected odds, and they're getting 2.95. Um, I'm going against my model on this one. I don't think uh, Samsung is going to be able to win three games in a row against the team in Korean baseball that's playing the best, and they're going against probably the best Korean pitcher in all of the league. Uh, if you look at their RBI ranks, um, they're second to last. I'm sorry, they're third to last, Samsung is. And uh, NC is the third best hitting team. I don't trust my model here. I don't think NC, I don't think NC is going to lose three games in a row. My model says play Samsung. Uh, if you like big underdogs, this is a possibility. I am not going to bet that, though. Let's go on to the next game. We have... Uh, we have Hanwha against SK. Um, so as you can see, uh, Hanwha has lost seven in a row. They're just in a tailspin. Uh, SK has won three in a row. Two really good pitchers. I have I have them ranked one and two. Uh, I project the total at eight to eight, and the bookie's giving eight to five, so that's pretty consistent. I give SK a fifty-eight percent chance to win. Hanwha a forty-one percent chance. Those odds project, project to 172 and 238. Uh, the bookies are giving it as a pick 'em game. Um, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, but uh, SK does have the better pitcher. SK also has uh, the better hitting. Uh, they're ranked fifth, whereas Hama is ranked eighth. So um, I'll give you my picks at the end uh, of the video. But. Um, yeah, two good pitchers against two teams that don't hit very well. Uh, here's a spoiler alert. I'm going to take an under on this, but I'll give you the details at the end. KT is facing Kiwoom. 
Um, Kiwum is actually, according to Vegas, the second best team in all of Korean baseball. Um, but um, their ranks, ERA ranked is number four. Their RBI rank is number six. Um, they're kind of middling in, 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 in the middle of the pack. Um, and KT is just hitting the skin off the ball. Um, Kiwum beat KT yesterday. Uh, and as you can see, they've won two in a row, whereas KT has lost two. Um, if you look at the pitcher ranks, we have Bay J. Sung, who I rank as a two starter, and then Lee Sung Ho, as I rank as a third as a as a third rank starter out of five. These ranks are out of five, so a slightly above average pitcher against an average pitcher. I look at the total as ten point two. The book is giving ten. Uh, I give Ki Woom a fifty four percent chance. Of winning, KT at forty-five percent. Those odds project to two point one eight one eight five. The bookies are giving similar odds, so I don't see any value on the sides. Um, however, uh, I do have a bet for this game, which I will share with you at the end. Um, LG is facing Kia. Um, Pretty evenly ranked teams in Vegas odds for them to win. LG, they think, is a slightly better team. But LG is not really playing that well. Kia, with that fifth inning yesterday, just destroyed LG and destroyed uh, <laughs> two of my bets uh, in one inning. So Tyler Wilson is going against Drew Gagnon. And, you know, I have these ranked as a number one and number two pitcher. RBI ranks, uh, both teams are kind of flailing in the middle. Uh, ERA ranks, bullpens, etc. Both teams have pretty strong bullpens. So uh, I give the total at 8.7, whereas the bookie is at 8.5. It's pretty low. Um, so this game I will most likely stay away from today. So uh, last game we have Lotte against Dusan. We have Dan Straley taking on Chris Flexen. I rank them both as uh, two. Uh, with one being the highest and five being the lowest. I project the runs to be 9.86, whereas the bookie runs are nine. I give Doosan a 58% chance to win this contest. That projects to 1.72 odds. The bookies are offering 1.5, so that's negative value. Um, Doosan should come out on top of this. They do have the second best hitting team, although they do have the worst or second worst bullpen in all of baseball. Um, I still give them a 58% chance to win this game, and uh, I have a bet for this game as well. So let's summarize the bets. I've given you all the stats and all of my models, projections. Um, my first bet of the previously mentioned Doosan, I am going with Doosan to score first. I would like to take him to win, but the odds are not good enough. So the score first odds were 1.90. I'm going to take that bet. I think Doosan's going to score first in this game. My second bet, I am taking KT, the first five innings money line. And uh, the odds for that were 1.68. And my third bet for today is going to be SK Kama. Pardon me, my typing is a little off today. I'm taking SK Hama, and we're going first five innings under 4.5 runs. Those are the three bets for me. Uh, the odds for that, I forgot what the odds for that are, um, but generally the over-unders are 1.86. So uh, those are my three bets today. Uh, the record right now is 6-6. Six and six. Let's hope we improve on that. Uh, please see the link in the description for my MPB Japanese Baseball League model, which is three times more detailed than my Korean one. My Korean one, I put this together in a couple of days uh, and uh, made this because Japanese baseball was not scheduled to play. Japanese baseball is scheduled to restart June 19th. So I will be back with videos for Japanese baseball in much more detail uh, with rosters and everything. Uh, the Korean baseball model is, is basically the same math and the same concept. Uh, it's just I don't incorporate the rosters. 
I incorporate starting pitchers and uh, recent trends and the last two years of pitcher stats to make their starter ranks, which does affect the math. However, I don't have uh, lineups and uh, I just use team ERA for this model. So those are the three bets. Deuce on the score first, KT in first five innings money line, and SK Hama to be under 4.5 runs in the first five innings. Uh, hope you bet with me. The games start in about five hours. Happy betting. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more.